Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Don't manifest it if it don't belong to you, okay? Okay. Let's see what's going on for my Scorpios. Hopefully I'm loud and clear. If not, please let me know. This is a new... New, uh... What do you want to call it? Laptop. So I'm not sure about the sound. On the microphone. Live stream said it was, a, it was fine, but I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio. Empress. Where you're at right now. Six of Wands. So, I am feeling like you have stepped into your power, Scorpio. Scepter in hand. Or you could be dealing with, uh, you know, a mama. What's crossing you is the Ace of Swords. So, the truth. And nothing but the truth. My nose is running a little bit. A little chilly this morning in California. Somebody took a step in a different direction here. Ten of Cups. So, in the most recent past, it looks like you refused somebody or something that was gifted to you by spirit and chose to juggle and take a leap of faith. Don't know what that means, but we will find out. Got the Four of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and the Fool. Not sure if you wanted something. Kind of, I'm, I'm feeling like you moved money around and took a leap of faith on something else. Because you didn't really want this cup. Magician. So, manifestation big time here. Whatever this manifesting is that you're doing right now, it's happening. The truth shall set you free. The world in the immediate future. Something coming back. Full circle. What is the factors affecting the situation? I feel like you took your chances here in the past and it led you to... It led you to the truth. Factors affecting the situation. I feel like this might be a family situation. A mother. Ten of Wands. Lots of responsibility. Whatever this was, it was lots and lots of responsibility. Outside influence. Ten of Swords. Betrayal. Something is definitely over. Ten ten. Somebody got betrayed and walked away. Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups. That ass. You can only stick so many swords in a person before they walk away. 
Yeah. Hopes and fears. The fear is you're going to get hurt. I know you're not hurt, hoping for the Three of Swords. <laughs> Ten of Swords, Three of Swords. That's some heavy energy, guys. What is the future of this situation? What is the final outcome and future of this situation? Nine of Wands. And the Hermit. So going within to seek your answers from a place of pain. The Wheel of Fortune is spinning. I got Sagittarius, Libra, Aries, and Virgo on the board. So, all, and I do feel like the truth shall set you free here as far as this situation goes. It is your destiny. It is the Wheel of Fortune. So, the truth about what? That's what we need to know. What is the truth? La la la. The world again. So, there's definitely something coming back around full circle here that is going to be revisited. I think somebody's afraid of getting hurt because of past betrayals. They're in the Ten of Swords energy, so that tells me, because that's the outside influence. That tells me that there's definitely been a lot of betrayal in your life. And maybe you're afraid of getting hurt. And that's what that's why. Because you're kind of coming from a place of pain. The Ten of Wands, again, like I said, this is lots and lots of responsibility. Are you ready for it? Something's about to be over. And there's lots of responsibility here. Um with the ten of wands twice so there's there's a load to carry six of pentacles pisces hangman nine of swords okay so scorpio i do believe that you're stressing because you know whatever this is it's going to be a lot of responsibility and it's kind of got you stuck and hung up in your in your brain because it's a lot of responsibility. Ten of Wands, Six of Pentacles, and the Hangman on the Empress. So I think it's something that you want to be over because ten, ten, ten. Something you want to be over could have to do with a mother or baby mama or something of that nature. The truth shall set you free. Emperor. Aries energy. So realizing your divinity. Okay. Divine masculine. So we have the Empress and the Emperor here. And the truth I say, shall set you free. I hope y'all can hear me alright. Um, so, this Emperor is the truth. You are the boss of you. Three of Swords, Ace of Wands, and the Six of Swords. So, Emperor, Empress, whichever one you are, you do have a brand new beginning here. But it is coming from a place of pain. So, the truth about this person is that they're, they're pain. I mean, is it passionate? Is it, it's the stick, but You need to move away from this Three of Swords. Whatever it is, you've got a brand new beginning here. But you have to see it. You have to see it past the Three of Swords. There, there's something here that broke your heart but fixed your vision. That's what I'm feeling here.
And it's time to move away from that Three of Swords. Whatever situation you're in. Got the Six of, six of Swords to the Three of Swords. So that tells me moving on from heartbreak. And that is the truth. Because the Ace of Swords is there. You have an Ace of Wands here as well. So there's a brand new beginning right around the corner. Whether you want to take it or not is going to be completely up to you because... There's the fool. So taking a risk, taking a leap of faith, it's coming back around. It's up to you to take that leap of faith. It's not up to anybody else. We got the world, we got the fool twice. Here and here. Are you willing to take that leap of faith? Because it might lead you to that pile of pile of change here. Look. Yeah, two of swords, crossroads. So, either you're going to take this leap or you're not. You know, you're, you're, oh, wait a minute. That's in reverse. So, not confused about this new beginning, judgment. Anything else, spirit? This is whatever's going on in the world. It could be. Yeah. Somebody's waiting too long. To make a decision here. And it's going to lead to the five of cups. If you don't make a decision. Um, you may miss an opportunity here. Because it's a brand new beginning. You're not confused about your judgment. Maybe it wasn't exactly what you thought it was going to be. But you got to understand that there are still two cups standing here. There's always hope. Always hope. Maybe you misjudged a situation. And you thought you were making the right decision. Got the three of wands here waiting for your ships to come in. Maybe they did not arrive. And you thought they were coming, but they didn't come. But the truth here is that whatever this is, this devil energy that you're, atta you're attached to in some way, is has become very difficult and obsessive ace of cups could be a capricorn but we have a lot of responsibility, and it, it, I, I mean, I'm feeling like instead of like carrying these wands, like he's carrying them, I feel like they're on your back. I don't know what that means, but it feels like somebody is on your back to commit, and you're not quite ready for that. You're still dealing with the Three of Swords. Yep. Jealousy, spitefulness, rumors, five of wands. You definitely got some competition here in love. And I, I don't feel like you're, you're willing to even put in that work, Scorpio, because of the three of swords here twice and the ten of swords and the ten of wands twice. I think you're done with the fuckery. You know, you're done with playing games with people. Maybe that was because uh, I got just got the Three of Pentacles. So that could have been a business deal with the Empress and the Emperor here. Could have been a job, could have been a business deal, any of that, any of that kind of nature. 
Yeah, it's over. Whatever this was, it's over. You're hurt. It's time for you to fly. Eight of Cups. This is over and done with. I don't know what it is, but it, it involved three people. Ten of Swords on the Ten of Swords. Three of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. So, yeah. You're hurt, but this is over. No more playing here. Somebody done stuck you too many times. Time to fly. So, in the immediate future, you're not confused about this situation anymore. You know this is over. You know that it's time to move. It's time to get away from this. Because the six of, six of Swords and the Three of Swords, yeah. You need a brand new beginning. You need to take matters into your own hands and become the boss of you. That is your new beginning. The truth of who and what you what you are here and it ain't somebody's pincushion. You ain't you ain't somebody's pincushion. Somebody who lay their all their shit on you. That's what I feel like this is. Ten of swords twice, three of pentacles and the nine of wands. I feel like somebody's trying to lay all their shit on you. And it's not your it's not your problem. I mean, they are the ones that betrayed. They, they're the ones that, that hurt. And this is in the now. This is not in the past. In the past, you took a risk. A risk that... Yeah. You didn't think you were confused about it. You didn't think... Yeah. Hopes and fears is being stuck saving your money because... Of the situation at hand. So. This person kind of has you in their grip Scorpio. Due to probably a financial situation. As well as thoughts. Because thoughts become things. So. If you think you're going to get burned here. You most certainly will. And you'll be left. Counting your change. So maybe. Seven of Cups, you need to pay attention to what's in those cups before you make a decision or have made a decision where it's cost you quite a bit here. Ten of Swords twice, Ten of Wands twice, yeah. This was a huge, like, it's like somebody dumped all their shit on you. And now you're hiding in the Nine of Wands energy. It's like... I'm just going to go over here, save my money, and wait on the right opportunity. Or this is someone coming in with a solid offer. It's just taking a lot of time. Could be a Virgo. Um, it's the cold hard truth. The King, King of Swords and the King of Cups. There is a choice here. Between a couple of different uh, energies. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's the Queen of Wands. So there's definitely, I feel like you're a very attractive person. You have solid offers coming in. But what's affecting you right now is the past betrayals. It's almost like you're, you're not willing to give something a chance here. Or maybe you are and just nothing is adding up. Nothing's adding up to a solid offer. So I feel like you're retreating from it. But you do realize the truth here. The cold hard truth. That maybe the energy that you were seeking was not the energy that you got involved in because I do feel like somebody really seriously betrayed you Scorpio they really did a number 
Yeah, Tower, Ace of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles again. So you're getting the truth here. This could be a very shocking truth. Like you were totally not expecting it. Because I got the Tower, the Ace of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. So... All she wanted was the truth here. You got it. So I do feel like it wasn't a happy truth. With the, with the Five of Cups there and, and all these swords. But it set you free. Look. The sun. It exposed everything. Of all these energies. It exposed everything. Somebody offered you a new beginning in truth. And a new beginning in passion. But it turned into the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Wands. And the Eight of Swords. <coughs> and you left. <clears throat> counting your money. Somebody is very, very selfish here. With the way that they, with the way that they uh, handled this, I don't feel like that was you, Scorpio. I feel like it was whoever you're dealing with. I have Scorpio here. I have. Um, what else did I say? The Emperor is Aries. The Empress is Libra. The World card is all the fixed signs. Aries with the with the fool. This just keeps repeating itself. So pretty much, the truth uh, the truth is what's going to set you free here. It's going to allow you to have this new beginning with whoever you like, as opposed to someone who wants to keep you in their grasps and be be as. I feel very controlling energy here. Somebody who wants to control your money. Somebody who wants to control your time. And they want to do it so they can... So you don't have a brand new beginning. So you don't have a chance to venture out and get what is yours. Do not let these people stop you from what you want, Scorpio. Because you have earned the truth here. If nothing else, you've earned the truth here. And I do believe that there's several energies attached to whatever energy that you're dealing with. Like I said, there's the King of Swords and the King of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles at the end of this reading. So there could be as many as three people here with the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Swords twice. I think maybe you just found out that there was more than one other person involved in this situation. What you don't see is it's a transformation. Look at all these majors. And here's Leo again. So we got Leo, Scorpio, and Sagittarius here. The Wheel of Fortune, transformation, and strength. Sheer will to make something change. And I do feel like that's what you're doing. You are not confused about what you want. You're willing to take a leap of faith, although you know it might might lead you to that Five of Cups, um, that you might be disappointed. Yeah, you, got, you definitely got somebody fake in your energy. Occupation. This could be somebody you work with. Ooh. Somebody's trying to get you fired. If you're in a job, if this is about a job, look, somebody's expecting to get you fired because they're lying to your face. At the false person, we've got expectations and despair there. Somebody's bold face 
lying to your face to your face trying to get you they're they're betraying you right in front of your face got family room and journey so something's definitely over here and it's time to move in a new direction like i said this could be a job you're going to find out who this person is within the next three months I got threes, so many threes on here that, and, and threes and, and, and I have fives. So that tells me that there's going to be a significant change in your life be due to a betrayal. If you, if it hasn't happened yet, it is devil energy. It is obsessive over love to the point where they want it. This person wants you like this, Scorpio. They want you under the thumb, under the paw, under, they want to stop you from progressing to another situation. So they're going to do any and everything, including maybe even trying to get you fired. But it kind of opens you up to a new journey, if that is the case. Because you're, you're going to find out the truth about who this is. Like I said, I keep getting the truth shall set you free. Because you're going to get to the truth about who these people are, what they want, and how they've done a lot of things behind your back. I mean, they've done a lot behind your back. Ten of Swords twice with the Three of Pentacles. There's at least three people here, and they've done a lot behind your back. Stabbed you in the back, lied to your face, but it's all coming to fruition. You're finding out just how obsessive this person is. They are very obsessed and very jealous, and ew. yeah, that's not a good energy. All right, let's find out what the love oracle's got to say. The love boat. Soon we'll be making another room. Yeah, there's three people here. No question about it. Abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want with gratitude and bliss. Do not manifest from a place of despair because you will only manifest more despair. And it looks like there's a lot of despair going on here. Somebody's, somebody's got some fuckery going on. Okay. All right. We have heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. So there's definitely something here. Like I said, broke your heart, fixed your vision. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, and a third-party interference. You can't make it up, guys. The sword and the rose. Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. You are protected. You have to show who the fuck you are. There's none. Like I said... I do feel like there's new love here, and you're about to meet somebody new. As soon as you get back out there and start dating again. I mean, it's only a matter of time. Okay, so yeah, there's somebody here to fall in love with. But there's, there's outdated thinking replaying this over and over and over and maybe missing an opportunity with a new person because somebody just can't stop thinking about the betrayal and what what has been they're in that cassette that playing it over and over and over again i do believe there's somebody falling in love here but that's not healthy it's devil energy it's jealousy it's it's ridiculousness to where somebody is just overly kind of like fatal attraction 
So, this is definitely like a fatal attraction, guys. This could be somebody that has to do with your family or involved with your family. Maybe you guys were um, set up by your family. But, um, yeah, all is being exposed. And a transformation is about to happen in your life from the Ten of Swords to the Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, which is the truth about love in general. Uh, which one do I want to pull here? I'll do the Hidden Realms. Alright, let's see what the Hidden Realms got to say. Ooh, Lady of the Mirror, Reflection and Non-Judgment. Sun Dancer in Reverse. Joyful Activity, Celebration of Life and Abundance. This is in Reverse. So, it's time to take a real long look at this situation and see why it isn't the way it should be. Because there's, like I said, lots of fuckery going on here. Shh, don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody I'm cursing. <laughs> I don't care. As long as I don't do it in the first 55 seconds, where I'll get. Alright. So this is an ally and a challenger, Scorpio. This says the Lady of the Mirror is both an ally and challenger, asking you to see yourself in the mirror made by the events in your life. She represents a powerful force of law of attraction and reminds you that what you are is what you attract. This isn't to say that you need to blame yourself for inviting transgressions or even if you find yourself the victim of a big picture event, say, a war. This is a distorted interpretation of this law. Certain events are fated to test our faith. Rather, find yourself within the web woven through your life, your relationships, opportunities, desires, seeming failures, and successes. Observing how you've responded to life's challenges, great and small. And be aware of what is familiar in the present. Release all judgment and accept things exactly as they are with love. The Lady in the Mirror asks that you honor every part of your story as essential to your highest unfolding. Can you see yourself as being exact, exactly where you need to be on your path? Do you love what you see in the mirror? Can you perceive your part in your reactions and the motives behind your current inquiry? You will find the answer in a thorough and honest self-appraisal. So, I do feel like I said, I feel like the truth is going to set you free in this situation and you're going to be able to move forward. And there is new love on its way. But you have to get yourself out of here and in here. Because I, I do feel like somebody just keeps replaying the past over and over again. To the point where it's, it's kind of hindering this risk, this leap of faith, this brand new beginning that's on, on its way to them. So, out your head, in your body, is what needs to be done here. Alright? Those are your messages. Please remember to press that like button, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed this reading. And I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.